Hey folks, welcome to Outlook Basics, the first video of my series. Uh, everything I'm going to teach you in this video will give you a good understanding for the next two videos, the advanced and super advanced levels. So what I recommend you do is when you're done with this video to go and follow along with your Outlook so you know where everything is and you'll be ready for the next videos. Okay, the first tip I'm gonna tell you folks about is how to close Outlook properly. Many of you and me sometimes, we will go up to the right corner up here and close the X. And that's really not closing Outlook properly. It still can leave it hanging and sometimes it won't open or it'll cause you problems. So what I recommend you do is take your mouse up to the top left, go to file and click on exit. That officially, closes Outlook and it just really collapses it and, and shuts down all the connections to the databases and everything else. And it tends to work a little bit better. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to some other things. Uh, let's take the mouse and go up to file up here. And in this uh, next section, I'm gonna be covering these things and these things right here, what I pay attention to, what, it, what I troubleshoot and what I use, okay? So first thing is, we're gonna start with the account settings. Down here, click on that. Okay, so here is the email uh, area of the account settings. This will show you what email accounts you have attached and the type. This is very important for you to know because if you're having, excuse me, if you're having somebody um, help you, they might say, oh, do you have POP, IMAP, or Exchange? And this is right here where you can uh, let them know. Over here is the data files, and this is generally up where the PST files are and which ones you have connected to Outlook. Um, up here is RSS feeds, and this is, um, a lot of people don't know what RSS feeds are, but it's basically a way to talk to an internet site so when they release something, it can come into your feed, and over here in Outlook is where the feeds will be. Uh, we're not gonna be covering SharePoint lists, or internet calendars or published calendars or address books in this video, I will let you know that internet calendars is like if you uh, like have a favorite football team and you go to their website, you can click on a button that says add to my Outlook calendar. That's where this will sit right here. Okay, we're gonna hit close. And just a reminder that if uh, I'm not covering something here, it's probably in the next two videos. Okay, go back up to file up here. And over here in cleanup tools, you can see that there's three options here. I'm not gonna cover those in these videos because the way I do mail cleanup is different than Outlook. Emptying, deleted, I don't do that either. And archiving, I have another way of doing it. Um, I will cover these in the advanced videos though, but we just don't use them here. I'm also gonna cover the rules and alerts in another video because I do rules differently than Outlook does, but it's the same way, but I just don't use this button. And then let's go up to open and export. Okay, so up here, when you wanna open someone's calendar, you have to be on an exchange server. So this will be covered in the exchange video portion, not here. Uh, this is how to open a PST file. So let's say you uh, got a new computer and you needed to move an Outlook data file. This is the spot where you can do that. And of course, there's other ways to do it as well, but in this version, you can do it here. Import and export. This is for if you want to export out your calendar and contacts and move it to a different platform. Uh, so, what? I, uh, excuse me. I'll be teaching this in the advanced or super advanced version because it's a more how-to, step-by-step. It's not just a, a basic function. It's actually a real thing that we do with the wizard. This down here, you will see it's grayed out because it's only available with a Microsoft Exchange account, and that's why it's grayed out. So now this part over here is kind of important because it has a lot of things that you probably don't know. When you see right here where I'm circling, this is showing that you are logged into your account that you purchased right here. Okay, these two things talk together. This is a subscription account for Office 365 and I am logged in. If you buy a standalone product, you do not need to be logged in, but I'll just let you know that Outlook likes to be logged in, these newer versions, okay? Um, you will also see if you don't have a subscription product here, this is where we'll tell you what version of Outlook you have bought, like uh, Professional Pro or um, just the, the regular Office without subscription there. Over here, you can choose what background you want. If you see that, uh, you can see up in the upper right there, I'm changing it around. That really doesn't matter. It's just all for decorative. 
The themes are kind of important though. <laughs> a lot of people with vision issues like the dark gray. You can see it changes the colors a little bit there. Um, I really wish Outlook had some more options other than blue and gray, but I am kind of used to the white, so that's the one I use. Now down here is the connected services. So if you can see here that this might not make sense, but I've got three of them hooked up. Uh, these are through three different accounts. We will cover this in another video. And if you, you do see this down here, you are connected because of up here. And that can also change how your data is on your computer, just to let you know. Over here in update options, this is where you can go check for updates yourself, disable them, view them. They'll tell you what version you're on. Sometimes if your Outlook crashes, it might actually give you an error and you need to know this version. Okay, so this is kind of this information here in the Office account. Then we're gonna go to Options. And in here, a lot of these settings are pretty standard and default, so I'm not gonna go through a lot because we don't need to change a lot. But the one thing that's important is the mail feature. And over here, signatures. Folks love their signatures. So uh, you click on signatures, you can see over here that you can go in and make them, and you can change the email accounts to have new replies, however you like it. And uh, that feature is right there. I will be covering stationary and fonts in another video. And scrolling down, you can see this is all just standard default stuff. You should not need to change, okay? Now let's go over to, excuse me, the advanced button right here. Okay, now in this button, I do use two things, which I'm gonna give you some tips on. And I do what's called an Outlook optimizing almost with every client I help. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom in the display right here, I have that button checked. And if you're using 2013 and 16, I highly recommend you check that button and uncheck the one at the bottom, use animations, because these two tend to cause glitches with Outlook, like flash and, and screens that look funny, and it just kind of acts up. So if you check that box and uncheck that and hit OK, you just disabled the two things that could cause those problems. Then in this options over here, go to add-ins, and then take your mouse and go down to go. You can actually see what Outlook has default for these uh, add-ins right here. If you use Exchange, you wanna have that checked. If you use the VBA, you want that checked, but most people I know don't need any of it except what they have. You might have add-ins for like Adobe and iCloud and stuff like that. You do need to have those checked if you wanna use those uh, applications. All right, folks, there's one more thing I wanna show you over here. Go back to Options, Trust Center, Trust Center, and right here, you do want to view the pictures in Outlook. I mean, most people do. Otherwise, you see the red X all the time, and that's annoying. So right here, uncheck this, don't download pictures, and then hit OK, and hit OK again, and then your pictures will start showing up in Outlook. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, and you can be free of the red X. <laughs> okay, so folks, this is uh, the end of the first part of the basics video, so please close this up and go practice what I just showed you and then be ready for the second video and that'll start here soon. Thank you.